right, today I'm reviewing the Lancer Volume Enhancing Lip Serum. And really quick, I just want to say I purchased all these products with my own money, so you know you can trust my opinion is what I honestly believe. And if you want to help support the channel, click on the Amazon link below before you make your purchase. So this is a lip serum from Lancer, which you can purchase at several different websites, Sephora, Derm Store. Um, and this is meant to uh, give your lips a little bit of plumpness is kind of what their big uh, claim is on this. And uh, this is the full size and it's $42. So for a plumping serum, it's a little bit pricey. Thankfully, they have it packaged nicely. Uh, just there's a little sticker on the bottom. Please be careful when you take the cap off because apparently people have pulled the cap off and broken the application tool, uh, which is just, it's just a metal applicator. There's nothing fancy or special about it, but I guess for $42, you want something a little bit fancy. But uh, really, this is definitely a very uh, light serum. It's definitely a gel texture and it definitely, uh, you'll feel it after you apply it after a couple minutes a little bit of tingling to your lips and uh, i think typically most things that say they're plumping for your lips are doing it by causing little bits of irritation because when skin becomes irritated it uh, can get kind of red and maybe a little bit swollen so i think that's kind of the theory behind all of these lip serums is that they kind of are trying to irritate your lips a little bit into having kind of a reaction. And some, some serums can definitely cause your lips to overreact and swell up far too much. This one is a light serum, so it tingles a little bit. It definitely fades off. It has a little bit of a minty taste to it, but not a lot. This, in my opinion, is more of a lip moisturizer than it is a limp plumper volume serum. It's got some really good moisturizing ingredients in there and it's got some peptides. So it definitely has some good ingredients in there along with some of the ingredients that kind of cause some irritation. But overall, if you're looking for volume in your lips, this is okay. It's it's on par with every other lip, lip gloss or lipstick that says it's plumping. Uh, I'm assuming that they're using the exact same ingredients that those lipsticks and lip glosses are. But if you use this, and you're expecting the volume, you're gonna have to use it at the same time you want the volume. So if you're just using it for a normal everyday look, you're gonna have to use this and then try and apply a lipstick on top of it, which can get kind of messy. Um, and if you use this at night and expect in the morning to have volume, it's not gonna be there because the actual results are very temporary. Once it's rinsed off, the results fade away which is a bummer. So this is better in my opinion as a moisturizer that does a, might do a little bit of plumping. I didn't notice anything crazy. Uh, some of the reviews I've read online, people have said it works. Some people have said it, it, it worked about as average as any other plumping lipstick or lip glosses. So there's nothing special about it. They tout that they have their special peptide extract which is really just a few ingredients that they've tried to patent as their specific recipe, which is just uh, plain ingredients that you can find in any other product. So um, overall, I'd use this more as a moisturizer than as something that plumps. To get a real plump lip, most of the time you have to use injections unless you have very sensitive skin and you're more sensitive to some of the irritants that can kind of give you more of a reaction. But um, if you're looking for super plump lips, that's probably the only way you're really going to get it unless you use something like this, which is very temporary. So um, overall, I'm not going to give it any thumbs up, but I'm not going to give it any thumbs down either. Um, it's basically a very expensive lip plumper, which uh, Buxom makes some great lip glosses that have the same effect and probably the exact same ingredient too. Uh, but this does moisturize a little bit, so it's got some good things going for it there. So um, anyway... Those are kind of my thoughts on it, so I'm interested if you guys have had a chance to check this out yet or not, and if so, what your thoughts were, and did you notice any plumping or not? So um, leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you're not already. I come out with at least one new review every day, and check out nobsbeauty.net. Thank you so much, guys.